Hello guys, this is going to be a rather interesting experiment. And what I'm going to do here is I took the the 2.5 inch hard drive out of my laptop over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my desktop. Keep in mind that this has a Windows 8 installation already on the drive itself. So I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to tell my desktop to boot from this drive and see if Windows 8 will allow this and not cause any major conflicts that will cause the OS to not run at all so yeah let's get to open in the desktop all right I have attached my laptop drive to my desktop by removing the SATA data and power connectors from the DVD drive and simply just attaching it to the drive here this is the laptop drive so what I'm going to do now is power on the desktop and let's go to the bias and tell the bias to boot from this drive because right now it's configured to boot from my solid state drive let's go to boot hard drive priorities and let's go to the new drive Go back, go here, it's actually, let me see, why is it not letting me, alright, there we go, leave you click this, go back, and now the boot option, so the first drive that the motherboard and the BIOS is now going to look to is the laptop drive on port 2, so let's save, changes, and reset let's see now my desktop is going to boot from my laptop's hard drive it's actually booting windows it's taking quite long because it is booting from a mechanical drive or there could be a bunch of conflicts going scan and repairing so it's actually attempting to repair the drive. Let me see if I can actually cancel that. This may take a while. So you know what? I'm not even going to let this procedure continue because I have a feeling it's going to wipe my laptop drive clean of its drivers, its config, its registry, whatever. And then if I put it back in my laptop, chances are it's not going to work correctly. So um, the desktop does see the Windows 8 installation, even though it's, it was um, configured using an entirely different machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to res actually shut down the machine. All right. Now I'm going to tell my desktop to boot from the solid state drive. I'm going to just plug back in my laptop drive back into the laptop. Let's go back to the bias. Let's go to boot, hard drive priorities, boot option. Set that, save changes, and reset. Now it should boot really fast because it's off the SSD. There we go. Let's put my password. All right, I reattached the drive to my laptop and so far it seems like nothing has happened to the installation configuration for my laptop in the sense on how the registry um, communicates with the hardware on my laptop and the configuration settings 
that are unique to my laptop so so far I've launched a bunch of different programs as you can see here I'm gonna launch uh, let's say Photoshop and everything seems to pretty much launch normally I don't see any wild errors anywhere even though it did hit 1% in terms of repairing the disk quotation marks that the desktop was attempting to do so once again I, I canceled that because I, I had a feeling that it may have tried to um, erase the the configurations that was set on that drive to um, build new configurations for the desktop specific architecture and the way its hardware is laid out and I didn't want to go too far and then have to reinstall everything on my laptop's hard drive I just wanted to see if um, Windows will maybe boot into the OS and then I'd probably see a bunch of new found new I mean installing new drivers or things of that matter it's in a sense that Mac OS um, can but it, it kind of makes sense that Windows cannot do that because Windows operates on a wide array of different types of hardware architectures while the Mac OS operates on a set lockdown hardware so it's a lot more easier for you to um, transition a hard drive that has an installation on it on a different machine because if it's the, if it's another Mac it has the same basic architecture so the OS will not go crazy because it has to all of a sudden get accustomed to a new architecture so this has just been a, a random video I was just bored and wanted to kind of see um, the new features that Windows 8 has and um, I think it's pretty much the same as the previous Windows and it's really something that you can't really um, see get a sort of solution because of what I, I, I explained earlier so if you guys find this video helpful or enjoyable just give it a thumbs up uh, if you have any comments feel free to post them below uh, thanks for watching this video guys. Later.